Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Sid Meier's Colonization. Playing as Nudge on Noise on Difficulty and on the Americas map, and things are going pretty darn good. I mean, we've gotten a few settlements here in this nice little area without any kind of native villages nearby. That's very good. We found four fountains of youths. That's quite a, quite a lot of them. My goodness. Uh, yeah, we're still waiting for more of them to be shipped across. Found fair, quite a few treasures as well. So now it's pretty much time to set up a uh, proper production industry and stuff, I think. The English and the French keep going into and out of wars. Um, yeah, right, I completely forgot we were sending up a lumberjack. So he's not going to cut there, I think. He's going to cut here. Yeah, because that's probably going to be a good square to make more fur. And I want to replace this guy. But I can't do that just yet. I want to send that native up here to help the new colony, but a convert cannot found a city, if I recall correctly. So... I think we can do about that for now. I think it's time to get the warehouse going. And yeah, and also I put a guy there to grow tobacco. The thing is, uh, they are supposed to be able to get the skill um, when they work a tile long enough. Uh, but that is, as far as I know, a random number of turns between 1 and 100, so it could take quite a long time before it happens. Uh, let's see, yeah, there are no goods there. Uh, I don't think we can actually ferry enough. Uh, thinking about that, we're actually going to get a few horses over to the new settlement so they can start breeding horses there as well. I don't think there were any goods at Fort Orange. Wasn't enough anyway. So you're just going to sail home. And get more immigrants across. Uh, did we visit their capital? I don't think we did. Sugar planters! Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. We already have sugar planters, though. And we did visit this one that was the one with the weavers. Con planter, you go in that direction. Right, you're gonna go north to see if you can get a new trade skill. And... Right, you're gonna go even further. Further east. And you'll have to wait, or... Maybe I should send him up here. Okay, so, in the north. Ideally, we want a colony here. Or, actually, no, there. That's closer to the fur, but of course, that's also next to Avenue Village, so that's a no go. Um, there are two viewers here. So, how do we do this? These are all mixed forests. Good for food, good for fur, and that's it. Uh, the hill there would be nice, but that means settling here, which would mean one square overlap. Not ideal, but uh, it's okay actually. We could always pull another colony up here. That would need fish, so okay, fine. You're gonna send you in that direction. We're gonna go up to this village up there. I think that's my hope. We don't have any Edelus statesmen. And the Spaniards are really aggressive. Burning everything. Darn it. Of course he came in and took another percent of the increase just before our treasure arrived. Boo. 
Okay, do I want to start making more soldiers? Or do I want to start doing something else? I'm not sure if making privateers is actually a good idea. Simply because I think... <laughs> I think our enemies would uh, be too strong. And I do need elder statesmen, I do need vibrant preachers. And they're ridiculous, ridiculously expensive. And I do need tools, I do need, I need everything. Um... I'm gonna leave that in the hands of the next ship. You're just gonna bring up everything that you can right now. And we'll soon find out whether or not there are any um, there are any huts left, goody huts or lost wonders, whatever you want to call them. Uh, in the south, I don't know. Right, you got all the people here. <laughs> we are gonna have to start building up the colony. We are gonna need food, quite a lot of food here, and both. So I guess both of those will become food squares. Probably that conifer forest as well. I kind of need three squares for food. And that's all the people you can actually afford to have here. I'm gonna make you a colonist. And I'm gonna make you plant food, there we go. You might become a, farm, a farmer, and then you might become a... Yeah, you might become a farmer. Or no, he won't, wouldn't become a farmer because that isn't a plowed field. Ah. Okay, so instead... You. There you go. And you just stay there. And we're out of tools. Let's see, are there any other villagers that have become alarmed? Not yet, but that's bound to happen. I'm actually rather surprised. These guys are now fairly tranquil. I hadn't expected that. Of course, the second our uh, troops there uh, reaches the other Europeans, we're going to be in for a world of trouble. They're certainly going to demand our uh, resources. I'd be quite surprised if they didn't. Um, you're going to have to grow food. Yeah, there aren't any tools available. You'll just have to sit tight, I think. And... Yeah, we're gonna build here with overlap, that's fine. Colony of New Holland. As you can see, one square overlap there. Oh well. You are going to go over here, and we're going to bless you as a missionary. You know what, I'm going to send you out to find that uh, that last Indian village, which one that was this one, right? Yeah, that's the one that teaches cotton planting. Now where's the 
ship. We did send a ship to Europe. There we go. We finally arrived, arrived there. Good, 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 good. We have a lot of money. It is time to strengthen our defenses. It is time to get things done here. And we need tools. Yeah, we need tools to... Uh, Huh. We need tools, we need soldiers, we need guns, we need everything. I'm gonna buy a privateer. There's a chance we can use that to our advantage. Small chance, but a chance nonetheless. You go ahead with those guys. And I'm gonna buy two units of artillery. Need to strengthen our defenses. By the way, I have looked. There is absolutely nowhere on the map you can actually build a Panama Canal city. There are two squares, I think, that are adjacent to both the uh, both sides of the sea here. But they're also mountain squares, so <laughs> no dice. Yeah, how are we gonna do this? The galleon can't do anything other than wait. Um, stay right there. Fisherman, I'd, like, I'd like, love to put in the work. The problem is that I can't because if I do, the efficiency will drop and yeah, we'll be in trouble. I need membership to go up, and I also need to find another city somewhere. I, and that's the that's the alternative. Maybe it's time to send troops all the way south here. Could make them rather cross though. I mean, we'll be surrounding the Cherokee and they probably aren't gonna like that much. There's also, I can also ship the people up to New Holland. I'm gonna send you here. Yes, I think it's time to settle a city in the New Orleans area. And that's, that's a bit of a tough call. Uh, if I put it here, I'll get a lot of food. Because we have two squares with major rivers, and they'll produce extra amounts of fish. If I go there, though, I'll get access to more farmable land, and of course, more game. Which would be rather nice, too. If I don't build here, I can't build on the river there. Hmm. might be a better square, after all. I don't know. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of food we're giving up. We're moving further inland. Alternatively, we're giving up these two squares here. The major river and that one. Further inland is probably better. Does give more food than the equivalent on land would, but nah. I will see. I'll think about that for a moment. And there's Cortez. Awesome. Let's see now. Um. <laughs> A lot of these guys are very beneficial to us. I 
think I'm gonna go with Minuit. Because that allows us to build more colonies. Uh, without the natives demanding the land. Oh, expert farmers! We're definitely gonna send someone that way. Um, and now we actually have a build to do, to do so because uh, our galleons are no longer needed to transport treasures. These can be just... Well, that means you can actually uh, transport people to be trained. Yeah, now you're gonna stay. You're gonna move, you're gonna wait there. You're gonna move, and wait. I don't wanna send the Firebrand Preacher down that way. Fisherman isn't exactly the ideal guy to run down there either, but I think that's gonna be it. You're gonna go and found New Orleans. And yeah, you're gonna go down to this village. And more treasures. Awesome, was that all of them? Did we have treasure up here? We did. Look at all that juicy money. 16,000, but that's about all we're ever gonna get, I think. So now we have some choices to make. Where to spend all that money? Uh, choice number one, to colonists. We're just gonna recruit passage and just get tons and tons of people. Uh, we aren't gonna get the specialties we need that way. That's one drawback. Uh, we could purchase some ships. We could purchase more artillery units. That would also be sort of useful. Um, and we could train some really expensive specialists. We do have some choices. Not all that great a choice, maybe. Um, <laughs> Let's see. I am gonna buy one more galleon and one more privateer and then we're gonna train at least one elder statesman I need the profession um, the question now becomes what do we have let's see no, that's not that one not that one. Which one is it? Five? No. Four. There we go. Okay, we have no farmers right now. No tobacco planters. Uh, no Jesuit missionaries, but we're not going to train those. That's fine. All the other skill sets we have available to us. And we are going to be able to get a farmer down in the Inca village, or the Inca Aztec village. So that's going to be fine. Um. And we have lumberjacks, we have carpenters, and they're cheap to train. We still have two pretty criminals, really. Uh, are they both of them soldiers? I think they are. One's in Fort Orange, one's on the map. Huh, okay. Um... Yeah, we have some choices, I suppose. Uh, da, 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 da. Veteran soldiers here, they cost 2,000, but basically they cost 1,100, when you think about it, because you're gonna get muskets for free. And you have the same thinking with the Hardy Pioneers, they basically cost 600, not 12, since you're getting tools. So, a uh, hardy pioneer is actually as cheap as an ore miner at this point. 
And we have one Hardy Pioneer. Uh, we have two units of artillery. We're going to need at least two more. I think I'm going to go with that right away. To get any kind of uh, recruitment going, we're going to need a lot of Vibrant Preachers, sadly, and we don't really have that. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Should I spend more money on Elder Statesman? We're going to need tools if we're going to clear land, we're going to need trade goods if we're going to try to sell to the natives. Though, buying them for 400 gold is pretty expensive. I think... Uh, no change. We're gonna load up with tools. And there's the price increase, that's fine. Uh, you're gonna go with that cargo. And yeah, I'm trying to basically spend the money, because the second we meet the Europeans, they're gonna demand our money. And usually pretty much everything we have, in order to make peace. That's how they operate. So we might be served by basically training troops. So let's recruit two free colonists. Equip them with muskets. And horses. This is expensive, I know, but... Uh, it's kind of the point, isn't it? few more troops. Now at least they can't drop us completely. They're probably gonna demand everything for us, demand every penny we have in order to maintain peace. If not they're gonna declare war. They are rather aggressive at the high difficulty settings. I mean we could ignore them. We could pretend they don't exist. It would work. Maybe not all that well, but it would work. That was a quick travel, actually. Oh, right, that's the merchant, but not the uh, other ship. That's fine. And we already bought tools. Boo, I don't remember. I did not remember. I did not remember. Let's see now. You're definitely going to go down south to... Oops. That's one, one slide too many. Um, definitely down to this village here to learn up the farming skill. And beyond that, we're gonna go here ish. We'll have to go up to the port to just deliver the artillery pieces. That's gonna be fine. Da, da, da. One of the piece for Fort Orange, right? And there was one already in Amsterdam. So the last one is gonna go. Uh, to Fort Nassau. There we go, and you can probably sail onwards. The fur trader, fur trapper skill, awesome. We're gonna get tools next turn. And that's gonna be good. I'm actually rather surprised the natives are quite, uh, quite calm. They usually become a lot more upset at this difficulty. But we had a, bit of, a fair bit of luck. We're quite distant from most of them. So, there's that. Oh dear. Here comes the Frenchies. And I'm still gonna go south here because there might just be a village that has uh, 
some trade skills we need. There are the troopies, they have eight villages left. Hey, there are still some some things left here. That's good. And now we can set, definitely set sail and explore the seas here. I mean, we could still hide. We could hide and pretend we don't exist. It will delay aggressive moves by our uh, friends <laughs> in the south there. Um, yeah, you're still losing food. You still aren't actually getting things done, are you? Ugh. Okay, you, you're gonna go out. You can't grow sugar here anyway. You're gonna put elder statesmen in charge. That's gonna increase labor development production considerably. We are gonna offload some tools. more tools. Mm, I guess we're gonna send the tools to the northern colony. Oh yeah, we've got more artillery. Um, you can sneak your way up that way. Yeah, they are a bit scared. Of us moving <laughs> units through there. Hmm. Just wait here, please. Same with you. You're gonna be trained. Yes, by all means, become a farmer. Hmm. We're gonna need a schoolhouse in Fort Orange soon. So we can start trading farmers. Of course, first we are going to need to convert the people there. That's kind of irksome. It's a slow, a slow progress, making them proper loyalists. But we'll get there. For now, though, I do think I'm going to have need to take a break. Cats are calling. <laughs> so back soon. Thank you for watching.